welcome everyone to the final episode, the conclusion of our Japan vlog series. Thanks again to Warner Brothers for flying me out to Tokyo and experiencing all these really cool fun things. But without further ado, check out what we did in the last couple of days. Wait, hold up, hold up just a minute. It honestly looks like, yep, this is it, this is it. We've got the final upload in our Japan vlog series today. So pretty much, if you don't know, I went to uh, Tokyo, Japan a couple of weeks ago for the premiere, world premiere of Detective Pikachu the movie, and it was the best week of my entire life. The first three days, I think I was just doing different Pokemon sort of stuff. If you want to see any of those vlogs, I'll link them in the description below. But pretty much, why I was doing all of this promotional stuff with Detective Pikachu, I just got more and more and more presents, swag, and bought different types of Pokemon stuff that I've now got one of the craziest Detective Pikachu collections maybe in the world. So I thought I'd film a video on that, my collection of all the Detective Pikachu stuff that I've got right now. I know you guys are super keen on seeing that um, because I know you guys were starting to add up. Ando, you've got a lot of Detective Pikachu stuff now. But before we do that, I also wanted to show you guys uh, what I did on the second half of the trip because I was there for a full week and the first three days were Pokemon Detective Pikachu, but the last two days were all Godzilla. That's right, the brand new Godzilla movie comes out in theaters on May 30th, and they're like, Ando, do you want to come see everything Godzilla? And I'm like, heck yeah. So pretty much, here is the final two days of my trip. I didn't get a lot of footage, but uh, here's some of the stuff I got, and some of the promotional swag that uh, they chucked in as well. It's pretty exciting. I found it so much fun. So on Thursday morning, we all boarded this bus, and we drove through the city of Tokyo, and we're getting further and further out. It was about like a two hour drive. And then we arrived at Toho Studios. These are the people that not only had a hand in creating the new Godzilla film, but also had a hand in creating the new Detective Pikachu film. So then we went inside where they gave us a history of all the past Godzilla movies. And if you don't know, there's like a lot of them. These are all the posters from every single one they made. And what's really, really cool is a lot of the original and early ones they actually made in the studio I was currently visiting. So they had the set set up that they actually used, the costumes the people used to like sit in to uh, pretend they were Godzilla in the movies, which is really exciting. All the different monsters, which are actually featured in the new movie as well. And I was seeing a bunch of these cool like posters and I was like, dude, I'm so pumped up. When's this new one coming out? So when I found out the new one is not only coming out next week, but I also got to be one of the first people in the world to watch the whole film, I was like, no way. So then we went into the private movie studios where we watched the entire movie, Godzilla, King of the Monsters. I was already on a high. I'm like, no way, this is the coolest thing ever. And then the lights came on and I was thinking to myself, boy, that was actually a really good film. I can't wait to see it again when it comes out in Australian cinemas. But they were like, everyone stay in your seat because here is a private Q&A with the director of the movie and Ken Watanabe. But, Ken, does anyone else remember, like he's not only in this new Godzilla film, plays a huge role, he's the bloke on the full art Pokemon card, um, Detective Yoshida, and like he, obviously he's in the Detective Pikachu movie as well. I was starstruck, I'm like, no way, that's the guy, I've got a, I've got a Pokemon card of you, dude. I didn't actually tell him that, but in my head, that's what I was thinking. And I was just, oh, I was loving my life. And I was thinking, you know what? I need to get some Godzilla products. But that's when I got back to my hotel room. Houston, we, uh, <clears throat> we have a problem. So what exactly is this problem? Well, basically, I leave Japan in literally half an hour. I've got to, I've got to finish packing my bag up, walk out of this hotel, check out, go to the airport and catch a fly back to Australia. But I can't because this thing got delivered to my door overnight. I opened it up and I'm like... Well, that's that's just not gonna that's just not gonna fit my suitcase. I presume it's a present because we went and did all the Godzilla stuff yesterday, and uh, as the final day, they're gonna give me a present. Presents are great, but like, I can't fit the box in there. So what we're gonna have to do? We're gonna have to do a real quick, speedy unboxing, see what's inside, and uh, take what's inside back to Australia, and probably just give the box to one of the maids that work at the hotel. Oh gosh. It's the poster of the movie on the inside of the box and it's all like leather and nice. Oh, it's all right, don't get too attached to the box, Ando. What is this? I feel like some sort of blind bag. We're gonna have a more up close look at this all when we get home, I promise. So we've got three like blind bags, actually only two. Oh my gosh, it's literal popping rocks. We've got Godzilla branded pop rocks, which is the popping candy in your mouth. Then we've got a, uh, oh, this is sick. Dude, it's literally a Godzilla retro t-shirt. King of the monsters. Oh, in the retro? Dude, that's gonna look sick. Thank you so much for the t-shirt. Obviously, oh, this is what everyone needs in their entire life. 
Godzilla mask with all oh, it. Perfect new drink bottle, always need one of those, and this drink bottle is in the shape of something that's very relevant in the movie. <clears throat> Won't give any spoilers. What the heck is this? Godzilla branded... Oh, headphones! Sick! That's so weird. Godzilla branded headphones. That's pretty cool. Then last but not least, we got a travel bag, and it's got spikes on it, just like Godzilla does. Dude, how cool is this? It's a spiky bag. And then last but not least is a uh, journal. Godzilla journal right there with the retro sort of art in the front. Okay, then we just got an empty box. Unfortunately, I'm leaving the box behind. I'm going to put all that in the suitcase. We'll have an up close look at that when we get home. But let's finish packing up this thing. You gotta see, you gotta see what I'm looking at. It's just terrible. And because of someone's big booty, I can't actually fit anything else in the uh, good old suitcase. I even don't know how I'm gonna fit this guy's dude in the Oh my, what's gonna happen? Alrighty, so we made it home. I managed to get all of the goods home right here, which hopefully you can see. Here's most of the uh, key items. I did manage to bring the box home, which is so sad. I managed to leave that one and the Detective Pikachu box because I couldn't fit him in my suitcase. But I managed to bring everything else home. You gotta check out a recap because actually these are some really cool gifts. So I guess I'll start with probably uh, a really cool piece that I like that hopefully you guys do as well. It's a vintage Godzilla shirt. King of the Monsters, the main event. It's so dramatic, it's so vintage. Really cool like t-shirt right there. Then we've got a uh, Monarch Godzilla water bottle right here. It's in the shape of a... Uh, very, very important piece of the movie. I won't say much more than that, but it's so cool. I love it. Check this bag out. It's like a day bag. You could use it to like store all your uh, toiletries or your like toothbrush when you go away. And it's got the Godzilla spikes all across the top. It like zips up, huge storing space. It's so cool. Look at this. Then we've got a Godzilla uh, sort of handbook right here, which you could write all your notes in. Amazing old school artwork. It's got a few different books inside as well, so in case you run out of space. Then we've got Godzilla headphones. These are pretty cool. It's got the release date in cinemas 2019, King of the Monsters, and then you got your headphones inside of there. Then we've got these blind bags right here, which I wanted to open for you guys. So, on the front, it's got all sorts of monsters you could possibly get. Monarch down the bottom, Godzilla, King of the Monster blind bag. And uh, on the back, these are everything that we could possibly get. Which one do you want the most? Obviously, I want the exclusives. Alright, hopefully you picked out the one you want. Let's open up the first one. Please be an exclusive. What do we got? What do we got? I love these cardboards. So you can't tell which one it is. Oh, no way! I think we got Godzilla on our first one. Oh my god, I can't believe we got Godzilla on the very first one. It's like a vinyl keychain. Oh, there's the tail, the spikes. Look at him, like, bouncing around. That's so cute. Definitely going on my keys or something. Oh, it looks so cool. All right, let's open the second bag up right here. Please be something good, something that's even exclusive. Oh, it's the three-headed monster himself, isn't it? Basically, the scariest monster you've ever seen ever. If you guys go watch the movie, this guy is terrifying. But he can stand up a pretty good fight against Godzilla, though. It's pretty cool. Um, that looks terrifying. Alrighty, so we've got our live audience right here, and I'm gonna try on the Godzilla mask and see what my dog Hazel thinks of it. She, uh, oh gosh, she's like a Godzilla, but fluffy. Oh my, look at this, it's so realistic. Ah, rah, rah. Oh, Hazel, oh, and she's so scared. Ah, I'm gonna eat you, Hazel. Ah, 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 God, oh, no, you're eating me. Ah, this isn't how Godzilla works. Ah, ah, rah, rah, rah. oh. And uh, yeah, we'll finish with my massive Pokemon Detective Pikachu collection. Let's do it. This is so exciting. There is so much stuff. Oh my goodness me, fellas. I've never been more proud of any collection in my entire life. But this right here is my whole Detective Pikachu Pokemon collection. Alrighty, so Guinness World Record, I'm not sure if you're watching this, and guys, if you've already seen me do a couple of Detective Pikachu unboxings, make sure you have your eyes peeled, because I'm going to go pretty fast, but there's a bunch of items that Pokemon sent me and Warner Brothers have sent me that I've never shown off before. So we kick things off here with a Pokemon Center exclusive Rhyme City 10 year anniversary parade t-shirt. That's a very hidden part of the movie, and I'm stoked I managed to have one of those in my collection. Then guys, we get our very first set of fluffy Detective Pikachu ears, good for any occasion. Then as we move up, we got one of those 
Nintendo's brand new Pokemon Center exclusive New Era collab, Rhyme City New Era hats, which are just so cool, they would go with any sort of outfit. And then right next to it is something I've never thought about, my friend pointed out recently, he's like, dude, you have gotta put your amiibo, your Detective Pikachu Nintendo exclusive amiibo in the collection because it's a perfect statue of the movie, so I've chucked it in there as well. Here we've got a Detective Pikachu exclusive pop socket, which I don't know why, I'm obsessed with, one of my favorite parts of the collection. And right next to it is that Detective Pikachu brand new and sealed booster box in Japanese. There was never a booster box in English, so this is really cool. And a couple of loose boosters I've kept in Japanese as well, all sealed and ready to go. Next, you'll find my press badge, which I wore all week. I mean, it probably doesn't have any resale value, but to me, as a memento covering this special occasion, it's so cool. So I'm going to keep my press badge right there. Right next to it there, you've got my lineup Detective Pikachu ears, which is another set. You'll probably see these multiple times throughout the collection. And then we've got not one but two Detective Pikachu exclusive light up cables. They legitimately light up in the same way that Pikachu fires off his thunderbolt or his like electric attack. I thought that was the coolest thing ever and you just plug the USB into a USB port and it charges your phone in the style a Pikachu would let go of a thunderbolt. So here we got something pretty peculiar. So I got my like red iPhone right, got the Pikachu case in there, obviously not sure if that really counts as Detective Pikachu, but I've got this thing right here which is a Detective Pikachu phone wallet card holder. So what you do, you peel off the sticker at the back and you stick it on the back of your phone, right? And then all of a sudden you can store your credit card on the back of your phone. And then you've also got Pikachu just staring into your soul every time you pay for something. Below that, I've got my $50 or my 50 USD worth of uh, a Build-A-Bear gift card because there's a brand new Detective Pikachu range launching a Build-A-Bear. So I've got a gift card ready to go so we can add a Build-A-Bear to my collection. I'm so excited because they are ridiculously cute. I can't wait for a 24 year old man to walk into Build-A-Bear and be like, one Detective Pikachu, please. Up there, you actually find my Detective Pikachu base boosted headphones. Oh boys, you've guessed it. We've got none other than a Detective Pikachu official lunchbox. This is literally like official promotional item. It's got the poster on the front, insulated inside to keep your yogurt all safe, don't worry about it. And then we've got the official hat that Pikachu wears all throughout the movie, the detective hat. I think it's by the Pokemon Center or it's by Pokemon themselves, one of the two. Now, my dead set favorite item of the whole collection, it even beats out the pop socket from earlier, is this right here, the leather backpack. You lift up the like Detective Pikachu hat and you can put stuff in there. It is handmade goodness. I am obsessed. I don't even know if it's available to the public. It's that exclusive, but I'm in love. I love that part of my collection. Now the TCG, I had to get one extra of every single TCG item that came out and I'm aware that there's more to come out, I'm pretty sure, so I'll get those as well. But for now, we've got every single item that's available. Cherries up, Mewtwo, Collector Chest. We've got a bit of like England's collection, a bit of America's because uh, one flips up and the other one flips to the side. Uh, but yeah, we've got a really solid TCG seal collection that I want to keep forever. A really cool memento. I love it. Obviously, we've also got the very exclusive and sold out Pokemon Center exclusive pins, which uh, represent all sort of places in the movie. I thought that was actually the coolest thing ever. And then a complete English and Japanese collection of the Detective Pikachu TCG sets. Now, I don't know why everyone hated this when I unboxed it. They thought it was the most useless item ever, but I'm just obsessed because it's got Pikachu's mug on it. I don't know what exactly it is, but I'm pretty sure this is a coin pouch, and I've got like two of them. Then a stack of wristbands, which apparently came out. They are really, really cool, really thick ones, and uh, they just fit my wrist perfectly. I think they're a kid size, but it's amazing. I love the way they're sort of laid out. And then before I forget, I've also got my entire Burger King collection of every single toy that was available from Burger King. If you haven't seen that video, I went and bought every single toy that was available. Uh, all five of them. It was really cool because Burger King's like notorious for doing collabs with Pokemon and they brought it back just for the movie. So I had to make sure I got every single toy. And then last but not least, the very last item is this thing right here. Can anyone guess what it is? Three, two, one. It's a beach ball. I didn't inflate it all the way because I ran out of breath, but you get the point. It's got Pikachu's mug all over it. It's got the logo all over it. Again, I don't know where you'd get that from, but I've got it. It's a Detective Pikachu b beach ball. So yeah, that's my short little tour of my Detective Pikachu collection I wanted to show you guys. A couple of people were wondering like all my stuff because I got a few more items that I didn't unbox on camera. So yeah, that's my haul so far. If you've got any ideas, you've got anything I want to do with the movie, definitely let me know. I'm keen to hear it. Uh, and yeah, because it's still playing in cinemas today if you want to go see it. But I think this is a perfect finale, a collection video to wrap up my Japanese vlog series. So guys, obviously, uh, thanks again to Warner Brothers for flying me out, showing me all sorts of stuff relating to not only Pokemon Detect Pikachu, but the new Godzilla film. And yeah, without further ado, um, I think we're gonna go traveling back to Japan because this was insane, so much fun. You gotta keep on gaming. Until next time, I'll see you then.
Pick up.